Hi everybody, this is Mark Weitzman. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Theoretical Physics with Mark Weitzman. Um, I just want to do a quick blog on the movie I went to see Oppenheimer last night. This is a um, three-hour movie. I thought it was fairly well done, although to be honest, if you're totally unfamiliar with the story of the atomic bomb and Oppenheimer, you might find the movie confusing as it goes back and forth and wheeze and everything. Anyway, on the this is the official um, movie website and you can um, see trailers and watch videos and explore more content. So you can watch all the trailers on the site and you can, um, you know, you could do all kinds of th things. That's so. Uh, you might want to explore this site if you want to get an idea of what the movie is about without seeing it. Um, sorry about that, it's in full screen mode, I don't know why. There it is. And so uh, this is copyright material, so I'm, get, I'm gonna get off this link. Um, so, the, uh, the movie is um, based on the book American Prometheus. Um, it's a long book, about 700 pages on Oppenheimer's definitive biography, published, I think, in 2006. And this is one of the few biographies on physicists in the 20th century that I haven't read. And having seen the movie, I decided it's about time I read it, so I ordered it today, and I'll start reading it on um, Monday. But this is an excellent book. The movie is based on this book. Um, another excellent book, this was a Pulitzer Prize winning best-selling book by Richard Rhodes on the making of the atomic bomb, I, I highly recommend. And um, also he wrote another book on the making of the hydrogen bomb, not quite as good, but if you want to know how the hydrogen bomb was developed, you know, you can read that also. There's this really excellent short book called the Los Alamos Primer. And this is basically, these notes were given when scientists came to Los Alamos. There's a new introduction by Richard Rhodes on this book, but if I show you the table of contents, basically they were given, uh, Robert Serba prepared these notes, and they were given to physicists as they came to Los Alamos to get them up to speed. Now you don't have to really know a lot of physics, but you can learn a lot from this book on things like tampers and fission cross-sections and everything. Like I said, it's a short book. It's only about, I think, only about 80 pages. And um, it, it just gives you the same information that was given to scientists coming in Los Alamos on the difficulties and how to make an atomic bomb. So I highly recommend this for physics students. It might seem like you're reading classified information, but this has been published ages and ages and ages ago and everybody in the world has access to this now. Um, in case you want to learn more about nuclear physics at an easy level, this is like sophomore level, Introductory in Nuclear Physics by Kenneth Crane. Um, it's mostly qualitative. I mean, it doesn't really go deep into, you know, there's no quantum field theory in this book. It only assumes you have some knowledge of quantum mechanics, but it gives you a lot of the qualitative and you know sort of models of nuclear models and then discussing everything on radioactivity and nuclear reactions and fission and fusion. So um, this is an easy read and it might might be a good place to start if you want to learn about nuclear weapons. Um, there's a really good video on YouTube. You can Google it. It's, it just Google Richard Feynman Lecture Los Alamos from below. It's about an act, hour lecture, but it's audio only. They put some pictures on, on this thing, but it's not moving where Richard Feynman describes, um, you know, his, um, and you see here, here is actual voice. He gave this lecture in 1975 at Berkeley. And you hear his actual voice giving this lecture, and it's really entertaining because Feynman was not like one of the bigwigs at Los Alamos. He was like, you know, he was one of the lower people, so 
He describes every, all of his experiences there in cracking safes. He also discusses this in some of his other books, like Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman. But this is a whole lecture devoted to Los Alamos. Now, in case you don't want to listen to the audio, there's a transcript at the Caltech website also of the whole lecture. So um, that's all I have to say today. I, um, I recommend the movie, and um, you know that's all I can say. You see it for yourself, and uh, hope you find it entertaining as I did. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.